But now it is currently 6.45 a.m. We're all packed up. We got our coffee, a ton of water, food, phone charger, a cooler. We're all ready to go. This morning I woke up at 6 a.m. and it was dark. It was warm in my bed. It was comfy. And I almost went back to sleep. Then I caught myself. If you go back to sleep, you could be missing out on a lot of stuff. You're going to wake up and regret it. So I'm not, I caught myself in the act and I stopped myself. And so hopefully the uh, universe rewards us with that, with some good finds today. Video you guys when we're there and um, hopefully we find some good stuff and uh, show you what we get. Had to piss. So I'm the first one here. <laughs> Nobody else is here. It's 8.49 a.m. All right, everybody. So we got a total of 52 items that I can count or I have pictures of. Uh, there might be a few more um, than those, but that's what we had. We're going to start with the first one is this 100% silk Tommy Bahama shirt. Not bad. Shoot one Rose Western shirt. Now I had no size tag, but I know um, it fits like a size large, so I'll get that. Love Westerns. A vintage decal jacket. Um, it's kind of puffy. I also had another decal jacket, but it had a lot more stains and stuff, so that's why I didn't pick that one up. And we also got a vintage Iowa Hawkeyes denim jacket. Now this one is super wild. It's custom made. Um, check the tag right here. It says like admit one. It's got like the seat, row, section, all that stuff. Pretty crazy jacket. Uh, we got two Betty Boop sweatshirts. One is red, one is purple. Um, this first red one, we got it assisted from uh, Vintage Cream. So follow him on Instagram. We basically just dug through the bins all day long today. And the second one, this purple one, is the one I dug. Um, we both got one, but he just gave me the other one because um, he's very uh, curated picker. So he likes to be very specific with what he picks up and stuff. So he assisted me on a lot of these finds today. So shout out to him. Then we got this purple Harley shirt, um, you know, very simple, modern, it's not 90s or anything, but it's a nice little Poshmark flip. A 2001 Dodge Motorsports shirt, all over print, um, front and back, pretty crazy tee. Uh, just got to wash it, it's got a few spots, so I'm going to spray it with some uh, shout on the, on the stains and then get it all washed. That was also assisted from him. A Budweiser button up, it's got a minor mark, but it should come out the wash, assisted from him as well. Nike polo shirt, assisted from him. It's got a smoke smell to it, so right now I'm soaking with OxyClean, and then when I wash it, I'm just gonna um, pour a lot of vinegar in with it, and that usually gets rid of the smoke smell good for me. Next is this vintage navy blue simple Nike hoodie. It's got the nice little check on the um, on the chest, and you know does pretty well. 30, 25, 30 bucks for me. And then we also got this um, gray spell out Nike hoodie, and it's tagged as a size small, but it fits like a medium or large and it's just kind of weird but pretty dope hoodie for um ebay poshmark mostly then we got this chicago white Sox hoodie super simple little poshmark flip little ten dollar uh profit probably it's going to come out of this one just a uh, you know bread and butter items then we got these reebok windbreaker pants with the spell out hit on the ankle pretty crazy nothing too nuts but you know light ship light shipping like three four bucks so you know not a bad pickup and then we got this sick acid wash Stanford Rowing Crew sweatshirt. Now um, this will be pretty a pretty good one. It's very niche, very specific, but with the uh, the design and everything, someone's um, bound to take it. It's probably Poshmark as usual. Uh, we got this vintage Michigan reverse weave. It's not Champion. It's actually Stephen Berry's. I'm not too fond of that brand. I don't like it that much personally, but um, reverse weave. There's no like Stephen Berry's logo hit on the outside, so someone's bound to pick it up, especially Poshmark. Then we got this vintage Fila sweatshirt with the spell out on there. It's got a few marks here and there, but a little shout and a little nice wash will get them right out and looking clean. Then we got this Harley St. Joe shirt. Uh, I think it's 2000, so it's nothing crazy. Another Poshmark flip. A vintage Indian sweatshirt. Now this one's nuts. I like it. It says let freedom ring in the front and on the back it's got the Indian and it says good guys wear black almost free with the big Indian. I think it's pretty cool or Native American, whatever. And then we got this um, Carhartt flame resistant sweatshirt. Now this one is sweet. No size tag, but I know how it fits. So it sell pretty good. Now these are very um, rare, I would say. There's not that many on the market. I don't. I haven't seen any crew necks with the flame resistant. I've seen some of the hoodies and it goes for pretty good. 
We got this Eddie Bauer Goose Down Puffer Vest. It doesn't go for too crazy of money, but Goose Down's good. Vests are good. And uh, just a pretty solid brand to go with. And for like $1.52, you can't beat it. Then we got this vintage Givenchy uh, windbreaker jacket. Givenchy, however you say it. Um, you know, luxury brand. Nice $25, $30 flip. Probably will go on either eBay or Poshmark. But I think it's pretty cool to find Givenchy out in the wild. We got this vintage Gant striped rugby shirt. Now this... Um, I've sold a lot of Gantt before. It's not too crazy of a brand, but with this kind of design, it's gonna do well. It's gonna be do uh, 25, 30 bucks in my eyes. According to the market, some have sold for 30 bucks too, and mine's a better design. So I think we're gonna do pretty good on this one. Next, we got this vintage, uh, I would say an Earth Day shirt. Now those have pretty much a lot of hype right now with all the climate change stuff and going on. This one just says trees forever. Um, it's got some weird hits on the sleeves, but I liked it because it has a nice, um, a nice tag, the Oneida Power Tee. Next, we got this vintage Tigger Sport Polo shirt. Now, this is literally a knockoff of Polo Sport. Uh, it's a big spell out. And it's got an all-over print, same front, same back. Pretty crazy design. Good comps, like 25, 30 bucks. So, we're going to roll with it. And we also got this Polar Off Lauren hat. Um, you know, simple little Poshmark flip, 5, 10 bucks, profit, whatever. A Nike Dry Fit um, FC Barcelona jersey, pretty cool. And L.L. Bean Corduroy Barn Coat. I sold a few of these, and especially with winter coming up, it's going to be a nice little sell. We got an Iowa State puffer jacket. It's not men's or women's. It's a youth medium, but I literally just sold a youth medium puffer the other day. Uh, Kansas City Cheese for 18 bucks on Posh, so that was a pretty good uh, flip. And then we got, or like 12, whatever. We got a vintage Lee Storm Rider uh, Sherpa denim vest. These are pretty sweet. I like Lee Storm Rider. I think it's like 70s or 80s, probably 80s um, in there. And, you know, Sherpa, vest, denim, Lee, they all go together to make a good sell. Then we got this vintage Pioneer full mesh hat, the K Products branding. I love these. This is um, this will do good for me on an auction. I've sold a ton of these full mesh Pioneer hats before, and it's always done me well. Now we got this uh, green Nike duffel bag with the white tag on the inside. Pretty sweet. I only picked it up because it's foldable, so it'll be easier to ship than most. A lot of bags are pretty stiff, and they're hard to ship, and they don't really fold up, but this one does. So that's the only reason I really picked it up. We got a vintage Wrangler shirt. It's got a big um, cowboy print on there. And the tag is an old Wrangler tag made in USA. So I know I had to pick it up for my Texas homies. Hopefully we can slang that on Twitter. And then we also got this uh, vintage Bass Pro Shops shirt. Pretty cool design. Probably gonna have to wash this one as well because it's it's got that musty smell, but. A lot of these I'll just wash in one cycle, all the whites and all the colors, and they'll be good as new. Uh, vintage Iowa starter hoodie. You know, no crazy design, but a good brand. It should do good on, uh, especially Poshmark. Probably be like a nice little 12 to $15 profit flip easily on this one. We got a few Harley hoodies. We got three right here. First one is going to be this simple orange Harley hoodie. Um, late 2000s. I think it's like 20 10 or something and then we also got this other one with the sleeve spell outs this one's pretty sick i think it's like 2013 but this is a 100 poshmark flips i don't even put these on ebay and finally we got this weird blank harley hoodie it's got nothing on it but it's got the harley tag i think it's pretty cool so i just picked it up anyways and then moving on we got this crazy 94 95 back-to-back -back world champions houston rockets t now this one is pretty sick um i'm pretty pumped about this one we got a tommy sports bootleg pullover i and i don't know what the tag is on there i can't remember but you know pretty cool little bootleg design on there so it's not bad we got this vintage arizona trucker hat um added this to the pile for uh the boy arizona service Go listen to him if you don't. Got to make some sick ass music. Um, next is gonna be this vintage Woolrich fleece jacket. Now it's not really deep pile. It's like a it's like medium pile I would say. Um, pretty nice, pretty warm, made in USA. Good good little jacket. Next we got this vintage uh, pheasant hunt hat. This is going to the boy Corbin. Shout out to him. Um, throwing it to him cheap because he buys a lot of hats for me and I really appreciate his business. Next is gonna be a 
North Face Summit Series Fleece Denali Jacket. I've always been looking for like a Summit Series, anything from uh, TNF. So I'm pretty pumped to find this and it goes for a nice 30 to 40 bucks. So I'm not, not too mad about it. Actually, when a new bin rolled out, I looked behind me and this was laying on top of, of an old bin. So I think it was a throwback. So it's pretty cool. We got a vintage Land O'Lakes Felco mesh palm hat. These are pretty sweet, like 20 bucks. It's nothing crazy, but um, cheap shipping, cheap fees. I'm all about it. Now we got this vintage Carhartt overalls made in USA, quilted lining. I've sold a lot of overalls, especially Carhartt. And coming into winter, they sell fast. So uh, shout out, shout out to Carhartt for helping me make some money. And we also got this um, vintage 1989 Carhartt tan jacket. Now this was also assist assisted from Vintage Cream. Uh, shout out to him. Now on the tag it says 100 year anniversary, 1980, uh, 1989. So pretty cool now that we know it's an 80s jacket. Now finishing it off, we got um, some crazy stuff here. We got some Chaco sandals. I know about these because I watched uh, Rinzi Now's you know, story on Instagram. They flipped a ton of shoes and I saw that they mentioned Chaco, so I picked them up. These are like 30, 40, 50 bucks. Check the eBay comps, they're pretty sweet for just these little sandals. And then we got these Nike tactical boots. I've sold these before for good money. We got a uh, 1998 Godzilla hand puppet. Pretty sweet. Nice little $25, $30 flip. Um, Godzilla, man. Pretty cool. We got some big Ariat riding boots. Now, I looked up the style number on the tag on these and found out that they go for good money, like $60, $70. Bucks. So, I had, you know, I had to pick them up. Couldn't pass them. And to finish it off, we got these Foot Joy Croc Golf Cleat Shoes. Now, the Croc trim on this is pretty tight. I've sold a pair of Foot Joy cleats for good money on Poshmark. Like, they sold within a day. So, the Croc trim, uh, somebody's got to be golfing somewhere in Arizona. Them, them snowbirds better come and buy my, my golf cleats. What's up, everybody? It's 627 p.m. We just crushed at the bins with Vintage Cream. Go follow him on Instagram. Yeah, we're basically just fucking bulling all day. Just waiting for new bins and shit, finding stuff. Man, the buddy of his, Casey, I don't know, his Insta, first time I actually saw him today. I just kind of played along and acted like I knew him. But he found a fucking Kodiak Trucker three-stripe hat, which goes for like 150, 200, 300, in that range, like 150 to 300 bucks. And kind of salty about it. Two bills, whatever. In the bin that we already looked at, but whatever. We got 61 pounds of shit, a lot of good stuff, and we're about to go get some Chick-fil-A, and uh, go home. Love y'all.